In today's video, I'm continuing the conversation about my mental health, my struggles with addiction, and the healing power that creativity has had in my life. Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and on this channel we get creative together and it's fun, not scary. <laughs> so last month I released a video titled Art and Healing, My Mental Health Story and in that video I was talking about my journey with addiction and sobriety and I really wanted to share the positive impact that art has had in my life. The wonderful outcome of that video was that instead of asking me a bunch of personal questions, you shared your stories and that meant everything to me. It, it made me feel like I'm not alone. I hope that you read through the comments because it was so community building and I think we can all feel like we're all going through something but it's okay. It was very brave and really beautiful and today I wanted to continue that conversation and talk more about my mental health journey and also just the link between being on an artistic journey or being on a mental or physical health journey. There's a lot of similarities there. And there's just something about the autumn, the fall, that I love getting crafty and getting artistic. Ever since I was a kid, I just love that sense of accomplishment you get when you complete like a little project, like a journal cover page or knitting a little hat or something. There's such a wonderful sense of accomplishment. Um, but even better than that, there's the time you spend creating that is so wonderfully calm. At least it is for me, and I hope that it can be for you as well. So let's get into our little journal cover page and make sure to stick around because I have a special giveaway for you. Someone is going to win the journal that I'm creating in this video. So I don't wanna leave you hanging when it comes to the art project that I'm doing either. So I'm gonna give a quick rundown of what I'm using. I have a Strathmore mixed media sketchbook and I'm keeping the label on because as I said, there's a giveaway. Someone's going to be able to win this. It's a mixed media paper, 90 pound. It's good for wet mediums like watercolor and gouache, but it's also really nice um, if you're into colored pencil or uh, just doing pen or pencil illustrations. I'm gonna work on the first page in this sketchbook and give one lucky winner a beautiful cover page. And the project, you can follow along at home because it's so simple. And the beauty is in the simplicity and the relaxation factor for this one, I think is very high. This is a very meditative uh, little practice which I love. And I also love that there aren't a lot of supplies needed. You've got your paper or sketchbook. You need one color of paint. I'm using cobalt blue watercolor. And then you've got a glass of clean water, maybe one small paintbrush, like a number six or a number four, or even a number two. And I've got a piece of paper towel there for blotting my brush. We'll begin in pencil and we're just going to write uh, journal. You could also write your name here and we're going to block out a little flag under that where you can write your name um, or the date or whatever. And then with that done, we're ready to start painting and start chatting. We're going to paint tons of tiny little leaves and flowers and as you paint I encourage you to not focus on the subject like the shape of a leaf but rather to focus on the fluid movements of the brush or don't think about anything at all just clear your mind and let your hand kind of run away with the paint and the paintbrush and try to just take some time for yourself, some time that's quiet, maybe it's screen free, maybe you're just listening to a podcast or maybe you're listening to this YouTube video. You can get lost a little bit in my words and not worry too much about following along exactly and kind of just let that paintbrush wander around the page. As I said in the intro, what really struck me about my prior video about my mental health was 
how many people felt compelled to share their own story. And I found that to be really beautiful. It made me so happy that instead of asking a ton of questions about me and maybe, you know, wanting to know really gritty details about my story, you wanted to share what you were going through. And that stood out to me, mostly because it's so brave of you to share, but it's also exciting that we're not hiding in the shadows and that we're talking so openly right now about our struggles and our mental health. And in, to that end, I'll be really honest, I want to continue the conversation around mental health here on this channel because I think art and our mental health and having a creative practice, it all kind of goes together. So it actually feels strange to me that I haven't said much about mental health um, up until now. And I've had this channel many years, but I'm actually not even sure how to do that. So I would love to hear in the comments what you would like. Do you want to hear more about my story? Do you want... You know, honestly, I don't even know what to suggest. Like, how do we push this conversation forward? What do you want to know? What should we share? What should we, what should we discuss? In my previous mental health video, which I recommend you go and watch if you haven't, I talked about how art helped me when I was getting clean. I was an opiate addict and it took a long time for me when I finally was able to quit. It took a long time for me to get back to a place where I felt like myself again. And I talked in that video about this kind of grayness. I was just in this gray, like no high highs, no low lows. I would have even liked some lows. It was just nothingness. It felt like this awful, sickening limbo. And I think there's kind of a link to talk about where when you're starting a sobriety journey, it's not this, it's not like good as soon as you start. And it's such a disservice actually that so much popular media shows that addiction happens really quickly. There's one gateway drug and then you're addicted and then um, detoxing can happen really quickly too. And then when you decide to get better, you're just going to be better. And it's so, for me at least, that was so not the case. Um, addiction was a very slow kind of fall into this pit and then climbing out was just as even more arduous and I wish that I could actually um, make a metaphor out of climbing. It really wasn't climbing. It was more like walking through an endless parking lot. It was so bleak and dull. And in the comments that I read, I know a lot of you related to that. And I was really glad for that because I think when we get away from old cliches, that, that it can be really comforting to know that, you know, your unique experience isn't actually so unique. It's not so weird. And so that's why I think this conversation is so important. And today I just kind of thought it might be worthwhile to say something about the link between that journey to getting better and getting sober, or you might be just on a journey out of, out of um, depression or out of some physical pain or learning to live with some physical pain, whatever that journey is, it can feel like you're not moving, like the dial just isn't going in any direction and you're just stuck and it's actually not the case. It's just that change takes so long and these processes can just be really, really slow. And I think there's a link there with art. When you're getting started, like, popular media would have you believe that once you start practicing, you're just going to get better so quickly and it's going to be this upward, exciting journey. And, you know, sometimes that's just not the case. And that doesn't have to be a bummer, uh, but it can be a bummer if you think you're the only one um, going through that. I've taken on so many different crafts and different mediums over the years. And there's kind of a section to those learning journeys where it's just like, I don't know, I think, am I getting worse at this? <laughs> and it's sort of a strange feeling. And you are getting better, or maybe you're not. Maybe you're just getting more perspective. You're getting to know yourself as a craftsperson and you will get better in time. But I think it's just a good thing to know that slow is okay. Slow can be beautiful. And most of all, slow is totally normal. Whether it's a journey that you're going through emotionally, mentally, physically, or with art or with another skill, slow is cool, slow is normal. I guess that's my thesis for today's video. My journal page here is 
complete. I did just like a very perfectly imperfect lettering um, and I've left the flag open for one lucky viewer to write their name or whatever you want to write. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment below and uh, any, any comment will do. Just comment, answer any of the questions that I asked in today's video and make sure you're subscribed to this channel with the notifications on. Thanks for hanging out with me today and for listening. Thanks in advance for your thoughtful comments. I can't wait to read them. And I will see you soon with a new tutorial. Thanks for being here.